Welcome to the Refinity IVIS catheter training video. The equipment needed are Refinity Rotational IVIS catheter and SpinVision pullback device, PIM-R. Carefully inspect the package prior to use for any breach of the sterile barrier or damage to the contents. The package includes a sterile PIM cover, a three-way stopcock, 3cc and 10cc syringes, a 13-inch extension tubing, and the Refinity Rotational IVIS catheter. The catheter body is comprised of four sections, a distal section, a mid-shaft section, a braided proximal shaft, and a telescoping section. The catheter body has a rapid exchange guide wire lumen with an exit port located 15.5 millimeters from the distal end. One radiopaque RO marker band is located 0.5 centimeters from the tip. In addition, guide insertion markers are located on the catheter body at 90 centimeters and 100 centimeters from the distal end. Remove catheter and components from tray using sterile technique. Remove the packaging coil protecting the catheter. While holding the telescope hub, gently open the telescope and retract the imaging core completely to the proximal position. Fill both the 10cc and 3cc syringes with sterile heparinized normal saline. Connect both syringes to the three-way stopcock and flush from one syringe into the other to expel any air within the stopcock. Then connect the assembly to the extension tube and use the 3cc syringe to flush the extension tube in order to expel all air from this assembly. Connect the extension tube to the one-way valve on the catheter hub. The 10cc syringe is to be used as a reservoir for refilling the 3cc flushing syringe. Flush the catheter continuously using the 3cc syringe until all bubbles are expressed from the clear distal shaft. Refill the 3cc syringe with the 10cc syringe. Alternatively, you may flush twice with the 3cc syringe. Apply steady, but not excessive pressure while flushing. Gently push the imaging core completely to the distal position by closing the telescope. Examine to ensure that no air is in the catheter and flushing accessories. If air is present, Reflush. Catheter prep is now complete. Make sure the system PIM cable is connected to the PIM R. Using sterile technique, remove drape from pouch and position in front of device with arrow number one pointing towards the sterile operator. Open first fold down, then open second fold up. Locate arrow number 3 and pull back to unfold. Prepare for placement of the PIM R into the drape. Note that this step will require two people, a sterile person to continue handling the drape and a non-sterile person to handle the PIM R and cable. Locate arrow number 4, open fold and insert device ensuring it reaches the nose at the end of the cover. Pull back large fold to fully cover device cable. Ensure small fold is between device sled arm and catheter port. Place plastic connector into the catheter port and remove sterile barrier tape. Insert prepped catheter into the device by aligning the black dots on the catheter and device. 
then turn to lock catheter into place. Note, take care to avoid opening the telescope section of the catheter at this step. This could introduce air in the system and require reflushing the catheter prior to use. Insure sled is advanced completely forward. Then secure the catheter onto the sled arm using the hub on proximal telescope shaft. Ensure the imaging core is at its full distal position. Examine the imaging core within the clear distal shaft to ensure no air is in the system. If air is present, reflush. To ensure proper function of the catheter, before advancing the catheter, check the image by pressing the image button on the PIM and observing a pattern of partial bright concentric rings on the monitor. Once the test is complete, press the image button again to stop imaging. The catheter is now ready for insertion into the guide catheter.